guys, Insanity is good here. Welcome back to uh, session two of the Unexpected Jam playthrough. Uh, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Dyslexic Nick for the follow. Thank you, sir. Um, we're going to be playing his game here in a minute. Uh, that up here. Oh, nice. Boy in the dark. Oh, it's a... Hi, child. Okay, um... Look left. Oh, why are you scared? It's okay. Oh my god, this is like... Seriously... Oh my god. Okay, don't look left. Uh, let me try that again. Holy shit. That got me good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, alright. So. Let's try. Let's look right. Am I gonna get jump scared again? So, oh my god, that was really loud. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, so we got monsters on all sides. Whew. It's so quiet because you're hearing him breathe all scary like. Or all scared like. Okay, um. Try again. I'm going to wait. Okay, so we survived this time. Yay! Okay, um. Look right. I just want to reach in and give him a hug. Oh no, I was like, a huh. I kind of want to beat this. The distressed child is hi, Rox. <laughs> <laughs> the distressed child is bothering me. Like, I don't. Alright, uh, start. Okay, so wait. Is that the autosave thing? Yeah, wait. I wonder if this whole game is waiting. Oof, what did I walk into? It's called- this is called the boy in the dark? And there are monsters and he is scared. Alright, let's try looking left. Maybe I picked the right thing? Is it going to be a monster? Are we okay? Or are we alright? Oh, yay! Okay, so wait, and then look left. Um, so wait, left. Let's try right again. Yeah, I'm glad you're not watching this, buddy. Monster again. So, okay. There's a lot of jump scares so far. 
Oh. Okay, uh, okay, so we wait. like such a contrast to what my kid's watching on TV right now. Okay, left. <laughs> it's so fucking quiet. That's why the jumps get you every time, because it's so quiet. Okay, um... I'm going to wait again. So wait, left. I'm saying what I've done out loud so that way if I die I can remember what the right answers are. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, left, wait. Let's try right again. Will he be allowed to look right? <laughs> yeah, game over. Alright, we're gonna try it one more time. I don't know how many rounds there are. In this? I don't like that I can't skip the game over thing. Okay, so wait. And that you can't skip this either. You just have to, like, you're stuck sitting here watching him look around all scared. Wait. Left. Okay, child. Okay, wait, left, wait. Like, where is he? Why is he in this situation? Why are there monsters? I don't... Wait, left, wait. Let's try waiting again, I guess. I'm just like waiting for it. Oh, wait left, wait, wait. Uh, Riot just keeps consistently bringing me to death, so let's do left again. So, wait, left, wait, wait. <laughs> Alright, that's- okay, I'm good on this. Alright, so, um, unexpectedness? Uh, four. I wasn't really expecting it. Uh, gameplay innovation. It was pretty basic, so I'll give it a three. Um, and it's kind of hard to tell, like, which way to go. You're just kind of, it's like, kind of a process of elimination, really. Um, as far as fun goes, it was pretty fun. Uh, well, I'll give it a four, because I'm, it's making me want to come back to play more. Uh, visuals, also a four. Uh, motion capture was pretty good for the I guess it's an FMV really um, and the monster didn't look too bad 
uh, audio a five, even though there wasn't much, just because it kind of put you on edge. And yeah, overall, I'd give that one a four. Was it too bad? Yep. So, alright, yeah. Let's save the reading. Okay, and let me. Oh god, I'm like lost. Like, what tab am I in? I'm in this one. Okay. So, that was that one. Um, so, this next one is called The Family, and it is by Stampeder525. Uh, scripture is the dot of the pantalone if crime family has given you a target and it's your job to take care of it. Okay. This is a sp plate of spaghetti. Tony Giordano. Welcome back. I won't waste your time. Pantalone family has been at the top of the local contraband trade for two years now. We've done well for ourselves. Now it looks like the Corsetti family wants to disrupt that. They're employing one of their best <laughs> agents. Need you to find him, get close, and take care of him for me. Oh, well, lucky for you, I'm pretty good at Assassin's Creed, so. Can I trust you to complete this task? Of course, Doc Pantalone. Pantalone. Does that mean like pants or something? <gasps> oh. Oh, I have to select it. Oh, okay. This is the spot where Pantalone said I'd find it. Flat. I heard about that show. It's supposed to be pretty good. Okay. care of him would be a mercy. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, what's this? I heard about that show. It's supposed to be pretty good. Oh, okay. Let's talk to... She's far away and I respect her distance. Guess we'll talk to this guy. Late night to be wandering around in an alleyway. Vincenzo for long. Uh, what are you doing here? Brooding. I love brooding. So great. Really makes you feel like a mobster. I'll brood with him. Brooding. <laughs> well, let's stop brooding. Oh yeah, that was some really great brooding. <laughs> uh, want to talk about it? Maybe it'll, it'll help. I'm game. Give me the scoop. I'll start with the job I had today. The task was to bribe a public official to look the other way. It's just another Tuesday. Ugh, I love bribery Tuesdays. That's part of the job. Anyway, so I bribes the guy, see? Same price as usual. And then this Joe has in our task if, he'd be, if I'd be interested in selling a little information about the family. Ugh, classic rookie mistake. Right, so I said to him, Mobster never betrays his family. And he says, What they don't know won't hurt them. I mean, really, the absolute disrespect. He's a disgrace. Thanks for the support. You're a really good listener, you know that. Always here for a fellow mobster. It means a lot. So anyway, I had to kill the guy, but it just got me thinking. Like, I wonder sometimes, is all of this worth it? Yes, being a mobster is the best, dude, come on. Of course you're right. Listen to me. Never be afraid to be yourself. See, this is an incredible light shining inside of you. Always listen whenever you want to talk. Jeez, man, you're gonna make me cry. This means so much to me. Lucky I met you today. Time for me to head home and reflect on all of this. Fettuccine? Fettuccine! Storm Pantalone. Excellent progress so far. Next task, rendezvous with the target, take him out. Just don't make use of your usual toolkit. Good luck. Oh! How should we... What is that? Okay, we got a gun. I don't see a silencer on it, though. Uh, 
a stiletto, poison, a garrot, and a couple of keys? With a plate? What's this? I, I should pick a tool for the job before I leave. Oh! Um... Hmm... Hmm... I mean... Let's go with... I could pull him in for a hug and just stab him in the ribs or something. Perfect. Ideal for any situation, yeah. I'll try... Time to go. Stay in the green. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Pasta here is to buy. Can't wait to dig in. Bon appetit. Very sweet of you to take me out like this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh god, what what is this? What wait, how am I gonna talk with my mouth full of pasta? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh god, 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 god. When you called, I couldn't believe it. Oh my god. I'm I'm trying to Slurp So was a nice thought. I can't do the voices one. To tell one is this noodle! So do you come here often? Oh god. Oh no no no. <gasps> Slurp. Really? I wouldn't have guessed. Uh huh. Oh my god, why? Oh my god, what? Why is this a thing? Sport. Buh. They sure do give you a lot of spaghetti here. Yeah, they do. Uh, Gluck. So listen, I want to talk about last night. Uh huh. What about last? Yeah. Gluck. No need to say anything. I just wanted to thank you for yesterday. Oh my god, I got something in my eye. Why? Oh dear lord, why, 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 no. I'm sure you know, but being a mobster is tough work. Sometimes you you gotta off the guy and they don't make it easy for you. Ooh, me? You mean me? Sometimes you try to extort a local business and they don't even give you a tip. Needless to say, it can be really stressful sometimes. Yeah, like, doing this and I've got something in my left eye, which is watering, and so I'm doing this with only like, looking on my right. So thank you for being there when I needed you. Uh, Black. <laughs> Where's no just what to say, don't you? Uh, just Black. It's a present dinner knife you got there. Thank you. Ah, oh my god. No, no, no. Oh no. I was so excited to tell him about my special knife. Oh, 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 Still looks super badass. Yeah, that's right. Where'd you get it? Uh, ma'am. Oh, I don't know that place. Oh god, I'll have to look it up. Oh fuck. Fuck, fuck, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, whack. You don't say. Anyway, I should probably get going. But Tony, this was lovely. Dinner's on me. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I gotta finally wipe my eye. Oh. What? There's flowers and soup? What the fuck is this? Happy birthday, Vinny. You gave him a present. You took care of him while he was sick and gave him a present. Now that I finished taking care of Vinny, I should report it to Don Pantalone. Don Pantalone? Looks like no one's here. I should look around. So 
this looks like a ripped piece of paper. Maybe I can assemble it to see what it says. Okay. Something feels very off about this. Hold on, I've got a bad feeling about this. What's it say? My dear Don Pantalone, I've taken some time to think about your suggestion and I'm inclined to agree. Vinny's a good kid, but I never see him with anybody. A matchup like this could be good for him. I haven't met this Tony fella, but from what you say, he seems like a loyal member of the family with a heart of gold. I think he and Vinny would make a cute pair. It's always nice when we can put aside our differences as rival families for something like this. Reminds me of the old days. Warm regards, Giuseppe Corsetti. P.S. You can usually find Vinny brooding in the alleyway on 42nd Street. My god, no, it can't be! So what, they're... Now this is interesting. Vinny, what are you doing here? I followed you. you work for Don Pantalone? It's all a setup, Vinny! Pantalone and Corsetti were both in on it. We were the marks. Mm, this is serious. We have to get out of here. Hold on. Not just yet. Pantalone and Corsetti have crossed a line. I think it's time we send them a little message. Dear recipient, the pleasure of your company is requested at the marriage of Tony Giordano to Vincenzo Gambino. Uh... Write a letter. Uh, thank you for introducing me to the love of my life. I will never be able to repay you. Now stay the fuck out of my personal, uh, oh wait, no. Personal affairs. Love you! <laughs> I'm sorry, this is fucking great. Tony, this is beautiful. I'll never be able to repay you. Now stay the fuck out of my personal affairs. Love you. These words move me to tears. I'm crying. This is how I cry. We'd better send this right away. Definite. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Tony. It's Pantalone. I got a tip that the police are planning to raid my office. They're on their way as we speak. If you're in the area, you should make sure to give them a warm welcome. I think we can arrange that. Oh, fuck, 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 ah! Ah, die! Please shoot out! Oh my god, this is like... Okay. Honestly, this is the best one I've played so far. This is fucking fantastic. I love it. Let's roll. Oh, that's cool. I could just keep killing these guys. I want to get. I want them to leave. Oh, this was fucking great, dude. Unexpected twist. I. Oh man. I. I'm waiting for the credits to roll so I can give it a good review. This was a lot of fun. Die, coppers! <laughs> oh, is it? Okay, I guess that's... Yeah, that's a family! Okay, um... Very unexpected. I didn't expect the marriage angle. That was interesting. Uh... Gameplay innovation, uh... 
Just a typical point and click, so I'll give that a three. Uh, fun? Yeah, very fun. Visuals were good. Audio was good. Five stars. Five stars. That was, that was great. That was, that was a lot of fun to play. Um, so kudos to that dev team. Okay, um, now this one is called, uh, Oh Hill Libe. Just made by Jackal of Night. Oh! unreadable with it all mixed up. Okay. I was hoping this would have something to do with it. Well, you may feel like you understand our book now. There's not a single one among us who understands the meaning of this passage. John 1135. Jesus wept! <laughs> One, it wasn't that unexpected. The innovation was not that great. It wasn't very fun. Visuals were shitty. Audio will give it five because that song was pretty. Um, overall a two. I didn't really care for it, to be honest. Something be something having to do with this guy. So the next one we're gonna play is called Z Rhapsody with. All right. Oh. Uh. I have no pants, and this is floating in the air, um, I have a dude running after me, and a floating sword, I'm assuming I'm supposed to be holding this, also there's no sound, uh, Oh, 
Huh. I have no pants on. What? This guy has no clothes at all, and... Now the game has... Now it's frozen. Yeah, this... Was it all... all to... Okay, so... Uh, one, one, one. I couldn't even play it, so... Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even get it to... Work, which sucks, because that one looked cool based on the screenshots that guy left. So, maybe he'll update it soon. Okay, so next one up is called Next Fall. And we're going to play a very whack game. Cool. Created by Bryn Hooper and Connor Nevin. And created for the Unexpected Jam. Ball. Dun dun dun. Hello? Are you there? The bunker's locked. Yeah, I figured it'd be. What do I do now? Walking man. I have an idea, but you'll need to head back here. Make sure you get here before the next fall in an hour. What's the next fall? Oh yeah, this looks good. Yep, Unreal! Unreal Engine! This must be the bunker, the blue screen of death. Here we go. Bunker E four seven two. Oh, looks pretty good. It's like, and the water's not. Oh well, it's kind of moving. A little bit. This is like... Fuck. She said it was supposed to be an hour from now. What's happening? Oh shit. Whoa! Press E to restart. Oh, what the hell happened? Game over. Whoa! Hi, kitty cats. I'm on a toilet. Your move. Oh. Just need to move piece. Great move. Huh? My turn. What's the cat? What? Hey, that's not how you this- You've lost. You've lost. I want to see if there's a way I can win. Oh, careful, sweetheart. So is this the entrance to the bunker then? Is it 
Oh, it's so dark. I guess... Anything change? Alright, I think it's just the same thing, so I guess that's it. Um... Um... That was pretty unexpected. Uh, the gameplay was, uh... Let's see, I mean, it wasn't... Well, one. It wasn't that innovative. Uh... It was okay. Visuals were really good. Audio was pretty good too, so I guess overall a three for that one. Um, didn't really go anywhere. You didn't even get to see this. I didn't even get to get on the boat. So it was kind of a bummer. Alright, so this next one is called What Sir? And it is by QB Cat. Uh, yeah, what are the controls? Uh, WSD to move, C to crouch, choose dialogue options with arrow keys, skip through dialogue letters with space. Okay. Okay. Ugh, my head. I must have had a wild night. It hurts so much. What is this room? I don't remember getting here. I don't see a door. How do I get out? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh wow. This looks nice, actually. Um, okay, so let's start with this drawer here. Scrolls, uh, paper, got so much for the romantic atmosphere. Where's the sweet spot? I just had it. Paradise Lost by John Milton. We're not gonna- we're just gonna ignore this key sitting there? Okay, whatever. Looks like I was meaning to write something there, but never got around to do so. Okay. Switch to the right romantic atmosphere. Uh, Earl Grey, the only constant I have left in this capricious world. At least I have decent handwriting. A picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I certainly know of one picture that has been bugging me. Let's see what's over here. Demon by Lermontov. Such a disappointed ending. I'm sure I could do better. So we're a writer. They seem oddly familiar. Have I played cards before? How do you not remember? Macbeth by William Shakespeare. What a cheerful selection of books I have. Okay. How long have I been asleep? I wonder if time still has any meaning. This portrait seems very familiar. Ah, you are finally awake. The evening was starting to get boring. Ah, uh, what? Who was talking? Right in front of you. The portrait? Yes, hello. Do we need to do the introductions again, or will you remember who I am? What do you mean? Do you know how I got here? Yes. Do you know how to get out? Have you tried the door? Uh... There are no doors. So your keen sight hasn't left you? I need to get out. I could help you. How? We could play a game of cards. If you win, you can have your freedom. And if I lose? Still have some of your memories, yes? I suppose. Then you know what I'll want. Sounds like a deal? A terrible wand, yes. Well, are you in? Always. Splendid, there's a deck of cards somewhere in your room. Be a dear, fetch those for us. Come back when you are ready. Okay. Can I set him on fire? No. Just give me that option. Alright, so I guess we're gonna play cards. I like the way I've played cards before. Oh, the picture changed. We've got the cards. How do we play? Just a simple game of Stoss. You remember how to play Stoss, correct? Um, I can't seem to remember. Can you remind me? The amnesia must have really gotten to you. 
It's a simple game, really. We start with five cards each. The higher the value, the more powerful the card is, with the ace of spades being the highest card. It is easier to explain when we start playing. We'll pick it up as we go. So you're here to start playing against someone who does not know the rules. That's what I do. Alright, we can figure it out as we go. Good, let's begin the game. How exactly are we playing? I have the cards and you are literally in a portrait. Sounds good. Ha! Oh, he's like moving and shit. What? Nothing. It's just amusing that I have to explain this to you. The cards are from a different dimension. They transcend time and space because they have no real home. Uh, how did you come to be in possession of such an artifact again? I have my ways. One game, the winner takes it all. Seems easy enough. They make it far less interesting. How about playing three times? I never realized you enjoyed my company so much. You don't flatter yourself. Are you winner or not? Alright, I'll bite. Three games it is. What did you say your name was again? Demon. Demon, so so douchey. I'm going to call you Doucheman. <gasps> Taking even more suspicious names are taken. See right through me. Going to ask about my name? Well, do you remember it? No. Amusing. You seem very good at this game. Get for cards. Makes you sound like a douche. Makes me win like a douche, too. Oh! <laughs> ha! Ha! You are making the same mistake again. Uh. Really, have we played before? I suppose there's no harm in telling you. Yes, this is our first game together. I don't recall those games at all. It seems unfair. Do you want to just let me have this win? Why would I? Because my eyes are blue like the ocean you were lost at sea. Yours are like the deepest pits of hell and I'm taking this win. Oh, Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> uh, look at that! Lady Luck is on my side today. What? That's impossible! Cards don't lie! Are you cheating? It was an honest win. Don't be upset. I don't trust your kind. Where's the ace of spades? I haven't seen it for the entire game. Probably still on the deck. Nonsense. Why didn't I get it in my hand? Because we didn't go through the whole deck? Just relax. Do not tell me what to do. Celebrate this win for as long as you can because you will be destroyed next game. We're so dramatic. Do you perhaps own a theater? Multiple. Why do you ask? No reason. That was intense, but this must be a good sign. I won the first game. One more win and I'll be free. Ah, uh, how strange. Ace of Spades is indeed not in the deck. I should look for it. It's quite an experience. I can't believe I have to play cards with them to get my freedom. Oh. Must have fallen out of my hand when I picked up the deck. So much fuss about one little card. One little, very powerful card. Some of my memories keep rushing back overnight. I remember writing down my memories in a diary and hiding some of the pages in the room. I must have known this would happen. I should find them before it's time to play with the demon again. Okay. Oh, dude, this is. Any pages in here? I was a ship lost at sea. He was the light calling me, but he truly was a flame to a moth. The deadly cause of my father's curse dooming me. Aww. There's the key again. Is this what it feels like to be eaten alive? Parts of me are just gone. I know they should be there, but they are not. I wonder if Demon enjoyed the parts of me he devoured. Our memories. I reach out for my memories and they slip through my grasp. I don't remember how many games we've had. Time stands still in this cursed room and I'm its only prisoner. Did I win at least once? I don't remember. You did! 
I lost the game. This was not supposed to happen. He was dressed to impress and was waiting for me. It's my only guess that he won't let me be. Was he seeking advice or sweet lover's embrace? Maybe those fiery eyes had more secrets in place. Okay. Oh, that's, okay, so that's that. Alright, I guess we'll talk to him. You are late. I'm here now, that's all that matters. You've got the cards? Always. Wonderful. Let's begin. Look like you got run over by a train. Just what I needed to hear this evening. <laughs> I had roll on his eyes. Were you worried about the game? I'm nothing to be worried about. You're so competent. Is it because of the gift for cards that you so eagerly believe in? I don't just believe, I have it. Then you never lose? Rarely. So you're a cheater? No, just very lucky. Says a cheater. I'm done with this conversation. Last game you seemed like you knew a lot about me. What's the deal with that? I've had plenty of time to get to know you. And another thing I don't remember. You miss your memories so much, yet you don't try your hardest to win. Well, and last time, haven't I? Want to win among thousands of losses. What a thing to be proud of. At least I can hold my temper when I lose. How would you know? You don't remember our games. I remember many before that. A lot has changed since then. Ha. Hmm? What did I tell you? I have a gift for cards. It's a rare event. I'm so lucky to be here to win this event. Don't be so petty. Losing is hard, but you should be used to it by now. At least I'm not throwing a tantrum like you did. Say whatever you wish. You lost fair and square. I did, but don't forget we have one more game to play. One game that will decide all. Indeed. Gift for cards, of course. How did I not think of this sooner? His gift is real. It must be. I have a book somewhere here that might give me some insight into his powers. I just need to find it. I should hurry. Demon seems to be waiting for me. Wouldn't it be... Is this one? Demon? The nature of the blessing, as some may choose to refer to it, is yet to be defined and currently remains a subject of speculation. Up until 1801, bearers of the gift were deemed as charlatans and cheaters, till a group of history students in Mas Moscow published the th first anthology on the subject. <laughs> the anthology recounts two views. First one describes how the inexplicable luck comes from God himself, making his favorite children unbelievably lucky when it comes to playing cards. The second one con contradicts the pre previous view. Sorry, it's hard to read while Will's on the bus play in the background. <laughs> like, uh, contradicts the previous view of questions why luck applies only to games of cards. Perhaps it is the devil himself who possesses such a gift, who gives it freely to his loyal followers. Notwithstanding the variety of interpretations, the core narrative remains the same, featuring a person with pathological luck in the game of cards who is impossible to outmaneuver in any sort of way. In the following chapter of the book, the reader will find the excerpts. This makes so much sense. I can't win against Demon if we are playing fair. I should do something before we start the final game. Now what did I do to win last time? We dropped the... It won't let me... It won't let me interact with the key at all. And it won't let me... That's it! He lost the first game because Ace of Spades wasn't in the deck. I guess this luck attracts the most powerful cards to him. If I remove this card from the deck, I will have a chance at winning. Take the key? God. Don't you aside for sore eyes. Have you finally accepted how much you love my dashing personality? No, but I do love some peace of quiet that will come after I don't have to worry about you. Celebrating your victory before actually winning, that never goes wrong. 
You're late. What have you been doing? Just catching up on some reading. Of course. I forgot you don't have much entertainment in that room. And whose fault is that? Don't look at me like that. It's not my responsibility to amuse you. It should be. It's been so long I can't even remember the last time I had guests. Quite tragic, don't you think? Your memory span of a goldfish? Tragic indeed. Rude. Anyway, should we start the game? Yes, thanks for dealing the hands already. You look nervous. Afraid your gift will fail you this time? You will not fail me. The only time I lost was because of your stupid mistake. It's curious how you blame your loss on the disappearance of one card. You gave me some food for thought. This gift you keep bragging about. You really do have it, don't you? I was always upfront about it. It is not my fault you never listened. Matter of fact, it is quite difficult to believe such a gift exists. I don't blame you. Most people don't listen either. This gift is quite unfair, don't you think? Good thing I took it upon myself to even out the playing field. What do you mean? I thought it would be fair if I removed a certain powerful card that made it way easier for you to win with your luck. You are only telling me that now? Stop the game. I do not wish to continue. You know the rules, demon. Once we start the game, we have to finish it. You cheating bastard. I should have seen this coming. This is not the game we agreed on. This is the one you get. I could still win. Your trick is nothing but a minor hiccup in my plan. Oh? You said you've suddenly mastered cards? I've played many games. I know what I'm doing. Someone who relied only on luck to guide him will not have much skill, don't you think? Shut up. Just shut up. You were trying to throw me off. Just playing my part, darling. Is this it? Not even going to talk to me? We're gloating like you've already won, yet we still have a whole game ahead of us. You're making me sick. It's only fair, don't you think? You've kept me here for so long. How long has it been exactly? Not long enough. Aw, I miss you too. Go to hell. That's the plan. No. No, this can't be happening. What is it, darling? Did I win? No, this can't be. Your luck has left you after all. No, I could still win. Just give me one more chance. You had all the time in the world, Demon, but nothing is eternal. It was bound to run out. You still need me to get out. We can make one more deal. Oh, do not worry about me. Your little room of tricks is nothing for me now that my memories are rushing back. But you, you put up quite a fight. It's admirable, really. I never would have thought I could lose my eternal knowledge to a mortal. <gasps> oh! We're the demon! Ah! Okay. Ah! This whole experience has been quite humbling. I should probably thank you. You've opened up my eyes to things I never thought could happen. <gasps> oh, demon dear, do not cry. I'll make sure you get the most special place in my collection. The end. Oh, that was pretty. What's this? Oh, the. Okay, that was cool. So yeah, um, unexpectedness. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. I like that. That was a nice twist. Um, gameplay innovation. That's three. It's pretty, pretty average. That was fun. The visuals were very nice. Audio was good. I liked it. I liked that one a lot. That was pretty cool. That was a really good twist. Which is kind of what I'm wanting to experience with these. So, all right, next one up is called Adrift Manor by Two Island Games. I guess let's start. Oh yeah, this must be it. Ooh. Yeah, this is pretty spooky. Pretty good. What time is it? Midnight? Oh, of course. Now look at. Oh, yeah, I can. It's easy to read. I know this house didn't always exist, but I couldn't find one person able to tell me what it was constructed. It seems like it was here long before the town even was. Very curious. Oh, they got. Okay. It's raining. Huh? 
you are reading this, it is likely too late. You are trapped inside and there's no escape. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Okay, um... Let's go through... Oh god. The light lured me in. I had this want, this need to know more, to find out what was causing it. But some things are better left a mystery. Anything in these drawers? Or is it just empty? Okay, that's not great. At all. Oh, great, it's that painting. Wait, what? Hold on. locked. Oh, is this like a fucking like... Oh! Is this like a PT thing we're about to go through? Oh, dude, I just got chills. If that's the case, oh man. Oh man. Okay, are these the same? Oh no, that's gone. so dark, I can't even see if there's anything in the drawers. <gasps> oh, geez. oh, that got me good. Okay. Uh, why are you here? Why am I here? As long as people keep coming into the house, it stays alive. Oh, man, that got me good. Alright, let's go through another loop. Hallway. I'm not even gonna bother opening those because. I'm tired. So very tired. I'm just going to sit down in this chair for a little bit. It'll be okay. Just a short rest. God, it's so fucking dark. Whoa! Whoa! Some Alice in Wonderland shit. Something here is rejecting humanity. You can't live here. It lives here. It is here. And soon, one way or another, you won't be. Oh god, no! Can we get through the window? Never any hallway. Oh, we're almost to the end. Oh, God. Sorry, I know these nursery rhymes are completely ruining the ambience of this, but. Walking for what seems like days, though it sounds like night outside at all times. Time has no meaning here. The clock ticks, the hours chime, but the hands don't move. Is that true? It is true. It's stuck at midnight. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick. 
did I write these or did someone else write these? But I mean, whoever did is going crazy. Okay, let's go through again. Sorry, it's hard to navigate. Ah. Uh oh. Did the game break? Um. The visuals were good. Audio was good too. Got me. Um. It was pretty fun. Ah, uh, gameplay animation at three. Um. Three. Well, the uh, three, I, I guess I would have liked it a bit more if I could have made it a little bit brighter, and if it didn't, like, break. So, that was that one. Um, this one is called Observer Path, and this is, was done by Kiskity. Oh. Um, I can't move or do anything. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. D equals two. one I couldn't even play it like there was no instructions or anything it just yeah did not work um, okay so this is called enigmatic and this is uh, made by disorder Let's see how this one goes Disorder. It looks creepy. Whoa. Should I be scared of the diamond? I don't. Thank you. 
No, it's stuck. Okay, well... That was... Pretty unexpected, um... Gameplay was interesting. Um, it was pretty fun. Visuals were pretty cool. They were weird. It's but it like it wasn't fantastic or nothing, but it worked. That kind of grungy sort of look. The audio was good. I liked the guitar, so I give that one a four. That was pretty good. Um, all right, and then this one it's called a ghost, a goat's tail, and uh, this is made by Barbu David Constantin. I don't think it's gonna work. So one, give it one stars because. I couldn't even get it to work on my computer, so that's great. Um, kind of surprised because I guess generally uh, game jam games you should be able to play like in browser for the most part, um, just because you know different people have different you know PCs and shit like that. So, uh, but yeah, so far a lot of these are downloadable and some of them are unplayable. But, alright, um, I think that's it for now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, if you're watching on YouTube, um, I, uh, will put the links in the descriptions of the Game Jam itself and all the games we played today. Um, and, uh, the ones that, you know, I couldn't. So, just in case you guys wanted to try it yourself, maybe you'll have better luck. Um, Kind of disappointed that uh um was it Aftershore Mansion or whatever it was the core mansion thing? Kind of said that that one kind of just like d like it just stopped. So because I was getting in just as I was getting into it, it died. So but yeah. Anyways, you guys have a good night, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Bye bye.